beim Fußgänger. <lacht> Would it be agreeable to you if I began by a short narrative, not very long, but a little narrative of the day's events? Uh, because this morning I told uh, both government parties that I was proposing to resign, and I told them the reasons in terms with which you are now familiar. And uh, then this afternoon, Mr. Holt having been elected to be the leader of the Liberal Party and Mr. McMahon, the deputy leader, I went to Government House and uh, told the Governor-General that I was resigning. I produced the document in such English as I could command and advised him to send for Mr. Holt, which, as I know, he did. Oddly enough, this doesn't mean that uh, I am now the ex. I spoke to one of my old friends who was an ex-minister and an ex-ambassador the other day, and he said, you know, there's nothing so ex as an ex. Uh, well, I'm not yet ex, because following the normal practice, uh, I act as a sort of caretaker prime minister. Uh, until, what, Wednesday morning, perhaps? It depends on when Mr. Holt feels that he can assemble. Well, that's, uh, that's in short, the story of the events of the day. Uh, there are very many people who are looking in tonight, because I'm told it's almost compulsory, this, tonight. Uh, there are so many people uh, looking in that perhaps they might like to know as you already know, uh, why I have taken this decision. This is not an ordinary decision. This is uh, something that doesn't happen very frequently for a man to go out of office under his own steam. I've gone out of office before today and uh, under somebody else's steam, but uh, this time uh, under my own. And the, the answer is quite short and simple. I am now 71, as you all know. By the due date of the next election, and I'm assuming that it will occur at the due time, I would be 72. 
I couldn't see myself at 72 after, by that time, 17 years of Prime Ministership and six years leading the opposition and a lot of history behind that. I couldn't see myself saying to the people of Australia, I want you to give me another term. I don't think it would be fair to them and I don't think it would be fair to me for what that matters. In efficiency. And I have an old-fashioned belief that the Prime Minister of this country ought to be 100% efficient at all times. Well, what was my choice? To go on for three years conducting a struggle which would become more and more difficult every month? And every month. I'm very happy to tell you that my wife, who, who uh, is well known to all of you as a wife and a mother and a grandmother, is probably lurking somewhere in the premises, I don't know. But on this occasion, I'm happy to tell you she thinks I'm right. <laughs> this is a good decision. And indeed, if she hadn't thought it was a good decision, then I, having regard to what I owe to her, would have had great hesitation. Anyhow, that's the decision. And that's why I've made it. And uh, in the result, my successor, Mr. Holt, elected today and subsequently seen by the Governor-General, uh, will, in the next two or three days, assemble his own government. I will not choose it. He will. Every Prime Minister has his own responsibilities on these matters and all I can say is that just as I have had the most loyal service from people associated with me in politics in Parliament in cabinet in Parliament in the organizations outside in both parties let me emphasize that immense loyalty from both the Liberal Party and the Country Party, uh, so I would hope and believe that my successor will enjoy the same benefit. It's not always understood. I tell you. I have not made as yet a decision about retiring from the Parliament because I owe it to my own committee in my own electorate to go down to Melbourne, which I will do tomorrow afternoon to have a talk with them about this matter. And when I've had that, then I will have more to say. This has been a terribly interesting period of time, 16 years plus six before that as leader of the opposition. Not easy and therefore very stimulating, but very strenuous. I, I, I'm delighted to think, and I say this without any claiming any personal credit because I don't claim it, I'm delighted to think that after all these years I can look around my own country and say this is a strong country, its people are prospering, its population has grown. It does matter in the world and is listened to with respect in the world. And if in the slightest degree one can have made a contribution to that, that's very good. Anyhow, I'm not, uh, I'm not leaving a sinking ship. Do you remember Winston's famous remark uh, when uh, uh, a member of parliament uh, who had been elected in the labor interest uh, decided to join the Liberal Party for some obscure reason, in England, I mean. Uh, the old man said, hmm, that's the first time I ever heard of a rat swimming towards a sinking ship. Uh, I mentioned that with uh, reminiscent pleasure about the great old man, but uh, I'm not uh, moving out uh, because I'd like to put some to me. Well, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, 
I can't envisage you after all this time going quietly. What do you intend to do in the time? I'm going to devote my time to the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Do you follow me? Sir Robert, you, you spoke of Although I must say that uh, some uh, earnest gentleman the other day uh, told me in the press that I had already written two volumes of memoirs. Oh, I thought, what a pity I haven't. <laughs> but I may, yes, I, I'll do a little writing. I'll only become indifferent. Uh, I, I won't, of course. Uh, I'm not... I'm not... Have you any uh, plans to go abroad this year? Oh, I haven't thought of that. You know, the only immediate plans in my household... For many years now, half my library has been in store. And when it comes out, it smells intolerably of mothballs. You know? And uh, uh, some of the remarks in it are very friendly, as I would expect. I, I'm not a personal enemy. That had been taken in the time of my government, I think I would say the ANZUS Treaty. Because the ANZUS Treaty has made the United States of America, not perhaps technically, but in substance, our ally. In other words, we have a species of alliance. Don't hold me to it as a technical expression, but we have a species of alliance with the United States, and placed as we are in the world, uh, that is tremendously important. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Reed, and, uh, and thank you, gentlemen. You've been very patient and tolerant with me. Looking at the clock, I see that we've had 50 minutes on this business, and some of you might say, with great justification, well, he, he ought to give us 50 minutes. He's given us mighty few press conferences. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you and good luck to you. Thank you.